Good Saturday afternoon, everybody. This is Stephen Ray, and I wanted to jump here on social media and especially the Facebook group and let you guys know uh, that there is now a severe thunderstorm warning. There are actually two warnings out there. Uh, one of them is back here uh, that includes the just south of the Monroeville, Alabama area over here towards Frisco City and Evergreen, Alabama. Now, this one actually has winds in excess of 70 miles per hour and two-inch diameter hail. But the reason that I'm here is because we actually have a brand new tornado warning uh, for, let's see, Henry and Houston counties down here in southeast Alabama, also in Dale County, Alabama. Uh, now, this does include Newville, Headland, and Haleburg uh, for the potential of a tornado. Uh, now, this warning uh, goes for another 25 minutes. All right, so this is what the warning says. Um at three at uh, three thirty nine Eastern, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Headland, moving east at twenty five miles per hour. Uh, locations around this storm uh, will be Headland at two fifty five, which is in about five minutes from now. Uh, so this is a radar indicated uh, tornado. Uh, now it is moving. Uh, towards the state line of Georgia as we speak. Uh, so it will be over into Georgia momentarily, and then we can turn our attention uh, to these other storms out there as well. Uh, now, but let me go on ahead and throw on the radar here, and I can actually show you uh, that there is your line of storms uh, that have just come on through Newland, uh, Newville and Headland and are now moving towards the city of Hellberg, uh down here in far southeast Alabama. Uh, this is a little bit off uh, to the north and to the uh, east of the Dothan metro area. Uh, and we also had some tornadoes down here earlier uh, this morning as well. Uh, so once again, this is a tornado warning now uh, for Hale, I'm, I'm sorry, Dale, Henry, and Houston counties and down there in Alabama. And let me cut on the baseball, uh, the uh, reef, the velocity, and you can see uh, that there is a line of severe storms and uh, intense, intense straight line winds uh, that are coming up here uh, towards Hellberg right now. They are sitting in between uh, Newville, Headland, and Hellberg right now. Uh, so that is the situation right here. Uh, there is an intense line of wind, uh, and regardless whether or not you see a tornado, uh, there is the possibility of damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 to 70 miles per hour with this storm. Uh, so there, yes, there is a tornado warning uh, for a small portion of the county, but the rest of the county is underneath a severe thunderstorm warning as well. Uh, so this is a pretty good uh, indication of damaging straight line winds. Uh, coming here uh, between Hellberg and Columbia, Alabama. And I'm actually going to try and see if I can get a better view uh, of this storm. And I think the Fort Rucker radar is would be the best one, uh, but let me check and see. Yeah, Tallahassee is a little bit far away. And the Maxwell Air Force Base is, ooh, okay. All right, Maxwell Air Force Base tells it, uh, does it a little bit better. Okay, so there is uh, your couplet and your possible tornado. Okay, so we're looking at this off of the Montgomery Maxwell Air Force Base. Okay, and uh, this is going to be uh, a couple of miles uh, off to the west of Hellberg, and I can actually draw for you uh, where downtown Hellberg is, and this tornado is currently five and a half miles away from your location. Uh, now, let me check and see. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
All right. So that is not the only tornado warning uh, that we have on the board. Uh, we have another tornado warning now uh, that includes the Evergreen, Alabama area. All right. So now we have two areas of rotation. Uh, one is going to be over here uh, toward, towards Hellberg, uh, over here uh, towards the uh, Georgia line. There is also going to be another uh, circulation over here uh, that is coming into the area of Evergreen, Alabama. And let me go on ahead and show uh, this one. And uh, there is your couplet uh, just off to the west and southwest of Evergreen, Alabama. And so if you're watching me in Evergreen, Alabama, please make sure that you are in your safe place right now. So this warning goes for another 35 minutes uh, for Conecuh County uh, down there in south central Alabama. Uh, at 2.51, uh, which was a few minutes ago, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado uh, was located four miles east of Ripton, or 12 miles west of Evergreen, moving east at 45 miles per hour. All right, here's this. Now, guys, check this out. Tornado and tennis ball-sized hail are possible with this storm. Tennis ball-sized hail is possible with this storm. I-65 and US-84 uh, around 3.05, which is in about 10 minutes. And then Evergreen around 310. Uh, so there is your possible tornado. Uh, this is a radar indicated. And this storm is capable of producing uh, tennis ball sized hail along with uh, a tornado. And there is uh, your incredible hell core uh, right here. Uh, just off to the east of Rapton. All right, so not everybody lives in Evergreen. Okay, so let me take you back over here real quick and go over here, and I'm going to work both of these storms uh, separately uh, and move back and forth between the both of them uh, until this one moves over here uh, into Georgia, and then we can focus on the one back here towards Evergreen. Okay, so if you are in Hellberg right now, uh, there is a, still a tornado warning for you, and I do note uh, that back here, uh, just south of Midland City, uh, that there is another circulation here uh, that is getting closer to the Dothan metro area that we're going to have to watch, and yet another one back here uh, towards the Newton area. Uh, so we're going to have to keep our eyes on those as well. Uh, but currently right now, there are no uh, severe thunderstorm or tornado warnings. Now, there is a severe thunderstorm warning, but not a tornado warning uh, for Dothan. Uh, but the tornado warning here uh, is about uh, five minutes away from moving over here into Georgia uh, from Hellberg. And then we can focus on that one uh, that is back there towards the Evergreen area as well. Uh, so this storm uh, has had a history of uh, look, producing a, a an amazing couplet as it as it has moved uh, from Midland, Alabama, all the way over to Hellberg. Uh, so this is a tornado warning uh, for Hellberg uh, for another few minutes. Uh, for the possibility of a tornado uh, moving into the city. And this is for Dale Henry uh, in Houston counties down in South Alabama. And I also want to show you, if you're just now joining me, uh, that there is another tornado warning over here uh, that includes the Evergreen, Alabama area. And basically, nobody should be driving along I-65 or Highway, or Highway 84 uh, coming into the city of Evergreen because of a possible tornado and uh, tennis ball-sized hail. All right, so let me go ahead and show you uh, that there is one of your tornadoes that is about to push over into Georgia near Hellberg uh, in, in uh, Dale and Henry counties down here. There is your other tornado warning uh, that is over here near Evergreen, Alabama. All right, so this is a serious situation 
uh, coming over here uh, towards Evergreen because even if you're not going to see the actual tornado, uh, you are going to see uh, baseball to tennis ball size tail with that storm. And the Storm Prediction Center has uh, issued a brand new severe thunderstorm watch. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Tallahassee. Uh, according, they have canceled the tornado warning now for Hellberg. All right, so we only have one active tornado warning on the board right now, and it is going to be this one over here uh, towards the Evergreen area. So once again, if you are in Dale, Henry, or Houston counties, you're under a severe thunderstorm warning, but you are not underneath a tornado warning anymore. Okay, so the only tornado warning that we have right now is going to be this one over here uh, towards Evergreen, Alabama. And uh, this looks like a pretty significant uh, couplet there uh, as we get into Evergreen. And if you're watching me in Evergreen, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place right now. That is the lowest floor of your home near the center and away from windows. And I'm trying to get the best view of this tornado and this couplet. And I guess that's going to be it closer to uh, Montgomery. Okay, so if you're watching me in downtown Evergreen, uh, this is going to be a, a tornado that is coming up on here on you pretty soon. Uh, now, the warning actually says... Uh, that if you're in Evergreen, it's going to be around you in 10 minutes at, at 310. However, I do believe it is moving a little bit faster uh, than that right now. Okay, uh, tornado warning continues uh, for Conecuh County. Uh, the actual warning itself uh, goes until 3.30 uh, for another 29 minutes. Uh, this is a radar-indicated tornado and hail up to 2.5 inches in diameter. Uh, so if you are in Evergreen right now, uh, you need to go on ahead and prepare for a possible tornado and definitely tennis ball-sized hail. Uh, this is an extremely dangerous situation uh, coming in here into Evergreen. This is a supercell thunderstorm. Uh, let me check in this. And the good news is I'm not seeing anything down on the ground with this tornado-wise. Uh, but there is your intense hail core. Uh, that is coming into uh, the city of Evergreen right now. So what I'm going to do is give me just a second while I pull up my um, my handy dandy maps app, and I'm going to go down here into Evergreen, and I'm going to read off some locales uh, that uh, you need to be in your safe place. And if I call out your locale, uh, go on ahead and get to your safe place right now. Uh, and you should have already been there a couple of hours, a couple of minutes ago uh, when the warning was issued. All right, so there's your tornado once again coming into the city of Evergreen. All right, if you are watching me along Highway 84 or Highway 31 in Evergreen, uh, that curves down uh, from Evergreen uh, down to... Uh, Castleberry, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place right now. If you are along I-65, uh, you need to be in your safe place right now. If you are along Rural Street uh, in Evergreen, be in your safe place. If you are near the CVS in Evergreen, please be in your safe place. If you are along uh, Highway 83, 
uh, which runs uh, into the city of Evergreen, being your safe place, Highway 84, uh, the Evergreen Medical Center, uh, please be in your safe place, Martin Street, Court Street, uh, downtown, uh, downtown Evergreen, uh, North Main Street, uh, Moody Lake, uh, be in your safe place right now. Uh, this is a possible tornado. Uh, Conecuh County Courthouse, uh, the Bank of Evergreen, Evergreen Police Department, uh, Dollar General, uh, uh, Church's Chicken down there, uh, Salter's Hardware. Uh, please be in your safe place right now. West Forest Street, uh, because this is a tornado uh, that is coming up on your area right now. And uh, this is a, uh, a pretty close, pretty tight couplet. And I can actually, uh, I would actually say that that actually is going to go a little bit further off to the south of downtown Evergreen. Uh, so if you're watching me down here uh, to the south of Evergreen, uh, down towards uh, Burner Avenue, uh, please be in your safe place right now. Uh, if you are down here towards uh, Interstate Tire Pros, uh, Railroad Street, uh, West uh, West Front Street, be in your safe place right now until this actual passes your location. And once again, this tornado warning goes until 3.30 uh, for uh, Evergreen, Alabama. And this is for Conecuh County. Uh, so once again, this is a tornado warning. This is the only tornado warning uh, in the state right now uh, because the other warning was allowed to expire over there towards uh, Dale, Henry, and Houston counties. Over across southeast Alabama, we are now zoomed in here out across south Alabama and south central Alabama because Evergreen is under the gun uh, for a possible tornado and tennis ball sized tail. I am Stephen Ray. You're watching uh, continuing tornado coverage uh, for a tornado or a pot potential tornado that's moving into the Evergreen Alabama area as we speak. And like I said, this is the only active severe thunderstorm warning that we have right now. So once again, I do need to mention, I know that the tag uh, on the Facebook group and everywhere else says Dale and Henry Counties. However, that warning has been allowed to expire uh, by the National Weather Service over there in Tallahassee. And the only tornado warning that we still have active is this one right here uh, that is coming into the uh, Evergreen, Alabama area or oh so close to the Evergreen area, uh, and then eventually getting over here uh, towards McKenzie, Alabama as well. Uh, and as you can see that this tornado is now on the southeast side of Evergreen right now, or oh so close to that area. Uh, so let me pull up, let me go back over here and pull up my maps, and I can actually uh, give you some locales uh, where you need to be in your safe place right now. Uh, if you are near the Evergreen uh, Medical Center, go ahead and be in your safe place. If you are on South Main Street, uh, be in your safe place. If you are on uh, Hyde Farm Road, uh, Brooklyn Road, please be in your safe place right now. Uh, hey Good Cutoff Road, uh, Brooklyn Road, please be in your safe place right now. Uh, until uh, this storm passes your area. Uh, if you were along Brooklyn Road uh, and places like that just off to the southeast of downtown uh, Evergreen, if you were down here uh, over here towards the uh, Evergreen Golf Course, uh, please be in your safe place right now. If you are on uh, Simino, uh, Simon Creek, our State Route 12, uh, which is also 31 and Highway 84, uh, coming out of uh, Evergreen, moving to the going to the southeast. 
uh, if you were across Spencer, McGraw Road, uh, Brownville Road, uh, please be in your safe place. Once again, if you are near uh, the Evergreen Golf Course, uh, please be in your safe place right now. And then eventually uh, getting over here uh, towards a point uh, towards uh, Brownsville, uh, Brownville, uh, which is northeast of Evergreen, Alabama, and then getting over here uh, towards the Old Town Creek. Uh, any of those locales need to go ahead and be in your safe place uh, right now uh, for the possibility of a tornado uh, that is on that is uh, potentially uh, on the ground right now. Uh, that is a pretty tight couplet. Uh, and it's sitting over here uh, just off to the southeast of Evergreen right now. And I also want to show you uh, that regardless, you're probably going to see some extremely large hail out of this. Uh, you're probably going to see upwards of baseball to tennis ball sized hail uh, with this storm. Uh, so you definitely want to take this serious. And uh, go on about your uh, you know, safe place and be in your safe place in the event that large hail or damaging straight line winds or a tornado uh, comes over your location. And as you can see there, uh, there is the new hail scan. And that thing is sitting, that hail core uh, is sitting right over uh, the city of Evergreen, Alabama. And if we do get any pictures of actual hail uh, with this storm, I will actually uh, give it to you guys uh, in the event that we do actually have a couple of uh, tornadoes uh, down in that area, and also if we get any pictures of hailstones down there in that area. Oh, but once again, this is Stephen Ray, and you are watching um, tornado coverage uh, from uh, Evergreen, Alabama. Uh, this is a uh, tornado now uh, that is now on the southeast and the east side of Evergreen, Alabama, and uh, I'm looking to see if there is any ALDOT cameras. Down in that location uh, that we could actually... And unfortunately, there is not. me just a second. Okay, the tornado warning continues uh, for Connecticut County until 3.30 Central uh, for a radar-indicated tornado and hail up to 1.75 inches in diameter. Uh, so they have dropped uh, the size of the hail, uh, but nonetheless, that is going to be a, a pretty significant situation coming into Evergreen right now. And unfortunately, there are no cameras down here uh, towards the Evergreen area. ALDOT does not have any cameras down there, unfortunately. Or I would be uh, letting you guys look at what's going on and the conditions outside uh, near the Evergreen area. And that is unfortunate. Uh, because I would love to see if they are actually getting baseball to tennis ball sized hail uh, with the storm. Now the warning actually goes for another 17 minutes until 3.30. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado uh, was located 4 miles east of Evergreen. Uh, moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. Tornado and golf ball sized hail. All right, and now that it is past the east of Evergreen, uh, this tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of east central Conecuh County. Uh, but that does mean that people do live out here. Uh, so I'm not going anywhere now, even though it has moved off of a big time city. Uh, I'm not leaving uh, social media 
uh, just because the big cities have been impacted. All right, so uh, let me go back over here uh, to my maps. And I will tell you uh, that if you live along uh, 55, uh, which is getting over here uh, towards McKenzie, uh, that runs from McKenzie all the way over to Evergreen, uh, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place right now. Uh, that is the lowest floor of your home uh, near the center and away from windows. Also, if you live over here uh, towards the Travis Bridge area, uh, Highway 31 uh, that runs from McKenzie all the way down and curves down into Highway 84, uh, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place right now. Uh, if you were along uh, 55, like I said, uh, if you are along um, all right, if you were along Connecticut County 47, uh, you need to be in your safe place right now. Uh, if you are along um, Highway 31, uh, towards the uh, River Springs Campground. You need to be in your safe place. Uh, Camp Driftwood, uh, be in your safe place right now. Uh, and this is all locations over here in rural, rural, very rural areas of um, Conecuh County down here. But nonetheless, people still live in Conecuh County. Uh, so I will continue to be here. Uh, providing severe weather coverage for you guys as well. Uh, so one more time, this is Stephen Ray, and there is a tornado warning now for East Central Conecuh County. Uh, this storm has passed over Evergreen. Uh, this storm has passed Castleberry. Uh, so in about another five, uh, I would say three to five minutes, I can give the all clear uh, for Evergreen, Alabama. Uh, but uh, for now, I want you to stay in your safe place because there still could be some extremely large hail uh, on the other side of um, uh, Evergreen right now. Also, uh, National Weather Service Mobile has issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Clark County, Alabama, until 4 p.m. Okay, so that's for Clark County, uh, a little bit further off to the north. Uh, so let me zoom out and take you up here and show you what's going on up here in Clark County. And it's going to be probably for this batch of storms uh, that is over here. Uh, towards Thomasville and south of Butler. All right, so let me pop on the radar here. And uh, that is probably going to be uh, the one that they're actually going to warn for. It's probably this one up here north of Coffeeville uh, and just off to the west of Thomasville. Uh, so we're going to have to watch this as this continues to push on off towards Thomasville. And yeah, there's a little bit of broad rotation there north of Coffeeville. And then more uh, rotation over here uh, towards the uh, Tox Toxie area in uh, Gilbert Town. Uh, so we're gonna have to keep an eye keep an eye on that as well. Uh, so let me see. And pretty much that's the only warnings that we have in the state. It's gonna be this one down here. Uh, that is a uh, tornado warning uh, for Conecuh County. And then there is your new polygon for the severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Clark County. And this is for central Clark County uh, from Coffeeville all the way over to Thomasville, Fulton, and then eventually getting down here to Grove Hill as well. Uh, and this warning goes uh, for 40 minutes until 4 p.m. So now, if you're watching me in Evergreen, Alabama, I can go ahead and give you guys the all clear uh, from the actual tornado. Uh, this tornado, uh, at this point, uh, would be sitting over here in, e in rural, 
rural eastern Connecticut County now, uh, getting over here pretty close uh, to McKenzie, and then McKenzie running south uh, through Connecticut County. Uh, now, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what the Weather Service does if they continue this warning on or if they allow it to expire. Uh, but here, within about another 15 minutes, this storm is going to be over here uh, towards uh, Nat, north of River Falls and Heath, north of Andalusia, Alabama earlier. And Andalusia, Alabama earlier this morning had some damage uh, due to the first line of storms that moved in. And now there's another batch around you guys just off to your north. Uh, so it's going to be real interesting to see what the Weather Service does uh, with this actual rotation here. Uh, give me just a second. I've got to um, uh, do something real quick. And uh, storms are firing back over here uh, towards the area of uh, Central Clark County. So let me back out and also show you uh, that we have a new severe thunderstorm warning over here for Thomasville, Fulton, Grove Hill, and just off to the north of Coffeeville. So once again, uh, this is Stephen Ray, and you are watching continuing uh, severe weather coverage uh, right here on the uh, Facebook page and other places on social media. And we've got a severe thunderstorm warning uh, that continues for Clark County. Okay, so the National Weather Service in, Bur in uh, Mobile is going to allow uh, the tornado warning to expire as soon as it comes up on um, 3.30. Uh, and what they're going to do is they're actually going to replace it with a severe thunderstorm warning, and the tag is going to say tornado possible. Uh, so that is the situation here. Uh, so I'm going to continue to watch this as it continues to push on off into uh, the areas over here uh, towards Dozier. Now, the new areas of uh, war the new warning will be popping up here pretty soon on the radar. I, I don't know why it hasn't popped up just yet, and there it is. All right, so there is... Uh, your brand new severe thunderstorm warning uh, that goes all the way up here from Petri, Alabama, all the way down uh, to Nat and just north of River Falls, Alabama. Uh, and this does include Luverne, Brantley, Glenwood, uh, McKenzie, and Dozier, Alabama. And this storm has had a history of producing a tornado warning back off to the west, all right? So uh, the actual warning itself goes for another 37 minutes, and this is for Butler, Crenshaw, and northern Covington counties uh, right now in Alabama until 4 o'clock central time. Golf ball-sized hail and damaging winds upwards of 70 miles per hour. Uh, Laverne, Brantley, McKenzie, uh, Red Level, Rutledge, Dozier, Nat, and Glenwood are in the path of this storm, and I do note that the tag on the warning says tornado is possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to watch all of these uh, as we progress over into the afternoon, and I do note uh, that the storm over here in Clark County uh, is starting to get a kidney bean shape uh, north of Coffeeville. Northern Covington County and South Central Alabama. 
Dean and CDT. Hungary by Dean and Dean CDT. The severe country storm was located near Hungary, only east of 45 miles from the home. Conditions in Hungary are. I do note uh, that the National Weather Service uh, down there in Mobile is watching the storm intently. Uh, because there is looking like it is trying to take a kidney bean shape. Uh, we've got this little hook pendant back here. Uh, and this would actually be uh, the potential uh, there for a developing tornado. Uh, so let me cut on velocity. And yeah, there's a little bit of broad rotation there. Uh, but once again... Uh, so once again, uh, there are two severe thunderstorm warnings right now. Uh, there is one uh, down here uh, for Butler, Crenshaw, and Covington counties in Alabama. There is also a new warning over here for Clark County. Uh, now both of these have signs of rotation on them. Uh, the one that's over here... Uh, east of Evergreen, uh, your rotation is going to be right in this area right here uh, that comes over here towards Nat, Dozier, and Brantley, and then eventually getting over here uh, south of Luverne, Alabama. There is also another warning uh, that is a severe thunderstorm warning, but there are signs of rotation with this uh, right here in central Clark County. And uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting little setup here. Uh, so this is going to be rather interesting to see if the Weather Service in Mobile does in fact issue a tornado warning for Clark County uh, because that is definitely uh, some rotation right there, uh, getting really close uh, to the city of Thomasville. Uh, so if you're watching me right now in Thomasville, I would go on ahead and be ready to go to my safe place. If you're in Thomasville, all the way down to Grove Hill. Now, if you're watching me in Jackson, Alabama, uh, this is not anything for you uh, to worry about. Uh, this is actually going to be rather north, farther north of you. Uh, but this is an actual... Uh, severe thunderstorm, and I would say right now uh, that it is capable of producing a tornado. Okay, so we have more storms that are firing up up here uh, towards the Millport, Vernon, and Fayette area. And the National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a significant weather alert uh, for this storm north of Millport. Uh, from Millport, Kennedy, Belk, and Fayette. Uh, so we're going to have to watch those storms as well. Uh, so the severe weather threat is not any, it's not over by any stretch if you were up here across North Alabama. Okay, told you, I told you guys, I told you, I told you, I told you. Okay, uh, National Weather Service in uh, Mobile has now issued a brand new tornado warning uh, for Central Clark County, uh, and this does include uh, the Thomasville area. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty significant situation now. Uh, we have a storm uh, that is capable of producing a tornado uh, that is really close and getting close to uh, the city of um, Thomasville right now.
So there is your new tornado warning. And this warning goes for another 45 minutes uh, for northeastern Clark County. Uh, and this is going to be uh, for areas near Thomasville and Fulton. Thomasville and Fulton around 340, which is in about 15 minutes for this possible tornado. Uh, there was a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado uh, was located 10 miles northeast of Coffeyville, uh, moving to the east at 60 miles per hour. It is also 11 miles northwest of Grove Hill, Alabama. All right, Birmingham has just issued a brand new severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Macon and Montgomery counties in Alabama. All right, so let me zoom out and show you this uh, that's over here uh, south of Montgomery. All right, so there is your new severe thunderstorm warning uh, coming up here for Macon and over here for Montgomery counties. All right, and let me check and see about the velocity. Uh, and the good news is I'm not seeing any signs of rotation right now uh, with this storm coming up here uh, towards Pike Road, Alabama. Uh, real quickly, uh, the uh, severe thunderstorm was located over Pike Road, uh, moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size tail are possible with this storm. All right, so let me zoom out and let me re-show you uh, the situation that is ongoing right now uh, here in the state of Alabama because we've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, and a tornado warning uh, that is about to expire down here for the Evergreen area. Uh, this storm is off to the north of Andalusia. Uh, getting over here to Nat, Dozier, and Brantley, and eventually Luverne, Alabama. All right, so we've got that supercell right there. Uh, we've also got a storm up here that was just, just issued for a severe thunderstorm warning for Montgomery and Macon counties, Alabama. And then we've actually got a tornado warning now uh, for Thomasville and Fulton over here in Clark County, Alabama. And this is getting really close over here uh, to the uh, 43 area. Nobody, nobody needs to be driving from Thomasville all the way down to Grove Hill uh, for the possibility of a tornado uh, coming up on Thomasville here pretty soon. Okay, so Mobile has expired uh, the tornado warning. Uh, for Conecuh County, Alabama, uh, because that storm is clearly out of the county. Uh, so there's only one tornado warning right now that we've got to deal with, and that is going to be uh, for the uh, areas right here uh, for uh, Thomasville and Fulton, Alabama. All right, so if you're watching me in Thomasville, uh, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place right now uh, until this warning passes. And unfortunately, uh, this uh, signature is in between radar sites, so I guess Mobile is going to be the best one that we can do. And it is going to be right here in this area that is going to be south of Thomasville and more towards the area of Fulton down there in Clark County. Uh, so this is a pretty significant situation uh, coming here uh, into the area. I also need to mention uh, that there are other uh, storms in progress across the northern half of Alabama. And uh, there is a significant weather advisory uh, for Pickens and Fayette counties up there in northern Alabama. Uh, but the most significant threat of a tornado uh, is going to be down here uh, towards the Thomasville area uh, right now. Let me also show you real quick uh, if you live in the northern part of the state of Alabama. 
Uh, let me come back on the radar. And uh, we have storms that are blowing up uh, from far Florence and curving down uh, to near Hackleburg and Phil Campbell and then curving back here uh, just west of Fayette. Uh, so we need to go ahead and watch all of these, and especially here, uh, if you are in Tuscaloosa, Moundville, Utah, Forkland, Demopolis, uh, any place like that. And then, of course, we got to watch any of these storms out here uh, south of Birmingham and pretty much any of these storms right now uh, that are moving across Alabama. Uh, I have a feeling that this is going to be a long afternoon and evening, unfortunately, uh, for us here in the state of Alabama. Uh, but the reason that I'm here is because we actually have a tornado warning now uh, that is actually going to be uh, south of Thomasville and north of Fulton. Uh, I do want to mention uh, that the tornado warning does include Thomasville. So Thomasville, uh, go ahead and be in your safe place right now. Uh, this is a radar-indicated tornado. Uh, once again, the National Weather Service continues the severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Clark County uh, for the potential of hail up to golf ball size and 60 mile per hour winds. And this does extend down all the way to Grove Hill, uh, but the storm of concern is actually going to be a little bit north of you uh, in between Thomasville and the Fulton area right now. All right, so uh, let me take you back up here. Uh, that ding, ding, ding that you always hear, that is um, the National Weather Service's chat. And, well, all right. And so I'm getting multiple warnings right now. And the National Weather Service in uh, Birmingham has now issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for uh, Pickens, Fayette, and places like that. So I can actually tell you right now uh, that they've issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Fayette, Marion, Walker, and Winston counties until 415. And so there is your new warning uh, up here from Winfield. Uh, to Eldridge, to Nauvoo, and Carbon Hill. Uh, and I think this warning is going to be uh, for large hail and damaging straight line winds. Uh, your damaging wind uh, threat is upwards of 60 miles per hour and quarter-sized hail. Uh, now, we do I actually have to watch these storms or any of these storms uh, for the potential of a few tornadoes uh, later today. Uh, so this is a pretty significant situation coming in here uh, towards the uh, Carbon Hill area and just south of Winfield, Alabama. Uh, so we have another severe thunderstorm warning now for Glen Allen, Eldridge, Nauvoo, and Carbon Hill in the northern portions of northwestern Alabama. Uh, we have other storms that are ongoing over here west of Fayette. Uh, and then this storm over here getting into Tuscaloosa County up here uh, by North Morris Bridge and just off to the west of the city of um, Samantha. All right. And then we have other storms that are ongoing down here and a tornado warning uh, for Clark County. So let me take you back in here and show you this one uh, because it is actually sitting really close uh, to the uh, Highway 43 corridor right now that runs uh, basically from uh, Tuscaloosa all the way down to Mobile. Uh, so this is a active tornado warning for Clark County. 
and your possible tornado would be sitting uh, along the Highway 43 corridor right now, uh, closer to the city of uh, Fulton right now, and actually sitting in between Fulton and the city of Thomasville right now. And this is very broad rotation, but nonetheless, this is a tornado warning nonetheless. And this warning goes until 4.15. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado uh, was located uh, 11 miles northeast of Coffeyville, uh, moving off to the east at 60 miles per hour. And that was as of 3.27. Uh, so the Weather Service, I'm sure, is fixing to update the warning here pretty soon. And I'm sure that's what that was. All right, and I was wrong. Uh, the Weather Service in Mobile has continued uh, the severe thunderstorm warning for Butler, Covington, and Crenshaw counties. Okay, so uh, let me also let me let me just let me just go out here. All right, let me back out because not everybody lives in Clark County. All right, so here's what we've got going on right now. Uh, let me take off the radar and let me zoom back over here into Alabama and zoom out. All right, so what we've got going on is we have an active tornado warning for Clark County uh, down here towards uh, Thomasville, Fulton, and Grove Hill. We have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Montgomery and uh, Macon counties in east central Alabama. We have another severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible for Butler, Covington, and Crenshaw counties until 4 o'clock, and then across the northern area of the state of Alabama, we have a severe thunderstorm warning for Fayette, Walker, and Winston counties as well, uh, and this includes the southern portions of the um, Lamar County area as well. Okay, uh, Thomasville emergency managers report tail of at least one inch in diameter, quarter size tail in Thomasville right now. All right, so uh, we actually do have a, uh, a hail producing thunderstorm uh, that is moving over the city of Thomasville right now. Uh, and if you guys have any pictures of the hail uh, that is coming into uh, Thomasville right now, we would love for you to send those to us uh, down in the comment section here on social media. Uh, but well, one more time, the uh, one-inch diameter hail right now is coming into the city of uh, Thomasville right now. All right, severe thunderstorm warning has been issued now uh, for Monroe and Wilcox, Alabama. And so I'm sure that this is going to be an, a continuation uh, of this actual tornado warning uh, that is ongoing here in Clark County. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff going on uh, here in Alabama. All right, so we have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning now uh, for Monroe and Wilcox, Alabama. We have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Montgomery and Macon counties, Alabama. We have another severe thunderstorm warning over here uh, for Butler, Crenshaw, and Covington counties. And then one more severe thunderstorm warning up here for Lamar, Walker, Winston, and Fayette counties as well. Uh, so that is the situation here. Uh, there is your new severe thunderstorm warning for Monroe and Wilcox. This does include the Alabama River near Camden, Vin Vrindenburg, uh, Oak Hill. Uh, so this is uh, a severe thunderstorm warning uh, with the potential uh, to produce a tornado because we still have the active tornado warning over here uh, for Clark County. Uh, for another 31 minutes, but I can almost guarantee you uh, that that storm will be way 
out of Clark County by 31 minutes from now. Uh, so this storm is moving off to the east at a very, very fast clip. It is moving off to the east at 60 miles per hour. And I do need to mention uh, that 2-inch diameter hail is possible uh, with this storm over here in Wilcox County. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. You see this bad boy right here? All right. You see this storm right here? We have another severe thunderstorm warning now. Uh, that is uh, got a tornado possible tag on it. Uh, we have another severe storm uh, that is coming over here. Uh, towards the uh, Washington, uh, let's see, Clark and Washington counties. Uh, and that one is going to have a severe thunderstorm on it, uh, capable of producing a tornado. Uh, so if you're watching me in Grove Hill, if you're watching me down here in Jackson, Alabama, uh, you guys are underneath another severe thunderstorm warning now. For the possibility of 2-inch diameter hail and 60 mile per hour winds and a tornado is possible again uh, for the southern portions of Clark County. Alright, so we have a tornado warning uh, for the northern part of uh, Clark County, Thomasville over to Fulton and then Grove Hill. And then Grove Hill is underneath another severe thunderstorm warning. National Weather Service in Birmingham has just issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Tallapoosa and Macon Counties, Alabama. All right, so that is going to be uh, for this batch of storms uh, over here. Uh, that is going to be for the northern end uh, just off to the east of Montgomery and southeast of Wetumpka. All right, so we have multiple now. We have multiple uh, severe thunderstorm warnings in the state of Alabama. Uh, we have one sitting up here uh, towards Eldridge and Carbon Hill uh, for Fayette, Lamar, Walker, Winston. We have another one down here, uh, let's say, for uh, Monroe and Wilcox. We have another one uh, with a tornado possible uh, that is down here uh, for Washington and Clark counties. And then another new one over here for Macon and Tallapoosa counties down here in Alabama. All right, so we have a brand new tornado warning now uh, from the National Weather Service in Mobile, and this does include Vrindenburg, Hybert, Alabama. All right, so this is going to be south. All right, this is going to be south of Camden, Alabama. All right, so there's your new polygon warning. Uh, so if you're watching me over here in Vrindenburg, uh, please be in your safe place right now. Uh, this is going to be a tornado warning for the next 42 minutes until 4.30 uh, this evening. Uh, for 2-inch diameter hail and a tornado is possible, this is a radar-indicated tornado. Uh, this dangerous storm will be near Vrind Vrindenburg around 4.15. Uh, so you've got some time uh, to get to your safe place. So regardless of whether you see a tornado or not with this storm, hail is going to be upwards of two inches in diameter with this storm. Uh, so once again, this is for Monroe and Wilcox counties in Alabama. Now, 
if you are in Camden, if you were up here along the Alabama River at G's Bend, uh, I do believe that this tornado uh, is going to be actually just a little bit south of you. Uh, but regardless, I think you will be able to see some large hail uh, with this area. And I also want to note for my friends that are watching me down here uh, in Mobile, Alabama, uh, they have allowed uh, this flash flood warning uh, to expire. Uh, so there's no more flash flooding issues for Chickasaw, Pritchard, or downtown Mobile. Uh, so they have allowed that to expire. Uh, but let me check and see. Okay, severe thunderstorm warning uh, further south. Uh, the one that is across southeast Alabama, uh, the severe thunderstorm warning for uh, Covington and Critchaw continues. They have canceled the warning for Butler, Alabama, uh, Butler County, because it has actually moved out of Butler County, Alabama. All right, so uh, the reason... That Okay, uh, as of 3.36, which was about 15 minutes ago, uh, in rural Clark County, emergency managers report golf ball-sized hail south of Thomasville. All right, so this storm has actually had a history of producing uh, hail, and there is the actual hail icon uh, that is sitting here along uh, Highway 43 in between Thomasville and and Grove Hill. All right, and so this storm uh, that is over here towards Monroe and Wilcox counties uh, has had a history of producing hail, and I can actually put on here uh, for you and show you the actual hail contours uh, where this actual hail has gone. And there was your hell core uh, as it was over here, uh, over here to the uh, western portions of the county. And it is currently now right here along the Clark, Monroe, and Wilcox County line moving over here into Vrindenburg. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, so once again, there is a lot of moving parts and a lot of warnings out there uh, this afternoon. Uh, for a good portion of Alabama. Uh, so that would be uh, your hill core that I have circled right here. And so I want to thank you guys uh, for staying here with me. Uh, the uh, severe thunderstorm and the tornado warning uh, continues now for Vrindenburg, and I'm going to try and see if I can't get a better uh, picture of where the actual tornado would be. So I'm going to switch radars. Okay, so apparently uh, the only, uh, the best one to look at uh, is actually going to be uh, the one of coming from Mobile. Uh, so one more time, there is a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado uh, that is moving here very close to Vrindenburg, Alabama. And uh, I'm going to take a short break. I've got to uh, get me a sip of water, and uh, I've got to actually go... Uh, to the fridge and get me a uh, sip of water. I will be back in 30 seconds or less.
All right, guys, I am back. And while I was away, uh, the National Weather Service in uh, Mobile has canceled uh, the tornado warning for Clark County. And the reason that they have canceled the warning for Clark is because that the tornado warning is completely out of Clark County. So Clark County has been removed uh, from the tornado warning right now. Uh, so the only active tornado warning that we have is down here for Monroe and Wilcox counties in Alabama. And uh, this warning goes for another 35 minutes. We've also got pictures of golf ball sized hail uh, that has just fallen in uh, Pike Road, Alabama. All right, so golf ball sized hail has been falling now in Pike Road, Alabama. Uh, but that is further east of our location where we are zoomed in right here. Uh, we are actually zoomed in here now uh, over Clark County as we actually have uh, a a uh, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado uh, that is coming near the Vrindenburg, Alabama area. And this is for North Central Monroe and Southwestern Wilcox County in South Central Alabama. Uh, this does not include uh, the Camden, Alabama area. Uh, Vrindenburg, uh, the tornado will be around you around 4.15, so about another 15 minutes uh, to get to your location of, of your safe place. And uh, there's a pretty significant hail core uh, on this storm as well. Uh, let me also zoom out and check on our storms up here north of uh, Alabama and north Alabama. Uh, basically, this line of storms uh, that is from Winfield over to Carbon Hill. Yep, and uh, there is your uh, severe thunderstorm warning, and it's come on through uh, Carbon Hill right now. And there is uh, reports of a uh, quarter uh, to, to quarter to nickel sized tail all up here in this locale, uh, from Belk all the way over to Carbon Hill and north of Nauvoo. Uh, so there is uh, your severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, for Carbon Hill and places off to the southeast of Carbon Hill. Uh, now, we also need to watch the storms uh, that are getting going over here towards Aliceville, Carrollton, Reform, and then eventually this one up here that is north of the city of Samantha. And the good news is I'm not seeing any signs of rotation under any of these storms. Uh, so the most interesting uh, storm on the board is going to be this one over here towards the Vrindenburg, Alabama area. And I'm waiting to see if the Weather Service is going to update the warning at all. Uh, I, they have not updated the warning, warning in quite some time. Uh, this warning goes for another 31 minutes, and the last update was about 20 minutes ago. 
Uh, so I'm waiting to see uh, what the Weather Service in Mobile is going to do uh, with this storm. Uh, so, um, Uh, so one more time, there is a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado over Wilcox and Monroe County, Alabama. Uh, this warning is over Vrindenburg, or just off to the west of Vrindenburg. And uh, this storm uh, has had a history of producing large hail uh, back off to the west, south of Thomasville. There is also a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, for a uh, severe storm uh, coming over here between Grove Hill and Jackson, Alabama as well. And this warning goes for another 30 minutes. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing uh, golf ball-sized hail or 2 inches in diameter and 60 mile per hour winds uh, was located 9 miles northwest of Jackson, moving to the east at 60 miles per hour. Locations in the path of this storm include Jackson, Grove Hill, and Whitley, Alabama. And a tornado is possible with that storm as well. Alright, so there are your severe thunderstorm warnings and your tornado warning across southwest Alabama. And this is from Thomasville uh, down to Grove Hill. And then another one over here uh, near Vrindenburg, south of Camden, Alabama. There are other storms that are ongoing over here in southeast Alabama and east Alabama, but none of them are tornadic. All right, so a new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued now uh, for the Chatham, Alabama area. And so this is going to be... Uh, central Washington counties here in Alabama. Uh, for damaging winds upwards of 60 and 1 inch diameter hail. Alright, so we have three uh, severe thunderstorm warnings down here in uh, southwest Alabama and one tornado warning. We have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings over here uh, towards the southeastern portion of Alabama and then we have one over here uh, getting close to the Auburn area uh, for the potential of damaging straight line winds and large hail. All right, so we got a severe thunderstorm warning for central Lee County uh, in east central Alabama until 445. Uh, at 358, which was a couple of minutes ago, a severe thunderstorm was located over in this Tuskegee, uh, moving to the northeast at 55 miles per hour. Uh, ping pong ball sized hail and damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour. And this does include Auburn University and Auburn Opelika areas as well. Uh, so this is a uh, big situation for very large hail uh, coming into the Auburn, Alabama area. And I'm going to take a very short break here, uh, probably about three to five minutes uh, and, and I've got to uh, get me another water, go refill my water, and I will be back here within three to five minutes.
All right, guys, I am back. I apologize about that. So we have a brand new tornado warning now uh, for Monroe and Wilcox County. Uh, and this includes the cities of Pineapple by around 430. All right, so this is a continuation of the tornado warning uh, over here for Vrindenburg. All right, so this is a tornado uh, that is moving through Vrindenburg, and unfortunately, uh, the area of rotation is going to be right underneath this blue uh, shaded area uh, that is radar fa fade. Uh, so we apologize for that, but uh, the actual tornado uh, would be sitting here, uh, and it's basically basically straddling uh, the. Uh, Monroe Wilcox County line. I also need to mention uh, that there is a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings over here uh, towards the Auburn Opelika area as well uh, with the potential of 60 mile per hour winds. Uh, let me cut on the bait, the reflectivity. Uh, and this is coming into the heart of Auburn right now. Uh, this includes two inch diameter hail and wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour. Uh, from over here, uh, Lochapoke, Auburn, and Opelika. All right, so there is uh, your severe thunderstorm warning uh, for uh, that area as well. And then there are other storms in progress up here uh, just off to the south uh, and west of the Huntsville metro area. And this includes uh, Hillsboro and Decatur, Alabama. There is another one now uh, that is up here uh, in uh, Fayette County. All right, so there is a severe thunderstorm warning now uh, that includes the Coleman area and the Coleman County area as well uh, for the potential of quarter-sized hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And if you are in Vinemont, please be in your safe place right now uh, because this is hail uh, that is capable of golf ball sized or larger. All right, so we've got a severe thunderstorm warning up here for Lawson. Decatur, and then down here towards Vinemont and Coleman. Uh, so this is a very serious uh, situation ongoing for northern Alabama. And for the storm near Decatur, Alabama, uh, this warning goes for uh, another uh, 15 to 30 minutes uh, for until 4.45 uh, for the potential of damaging winds upwards of 60 and quarter-sized hail. Uh, there are also other storms in progress across northern Tuscaloosa County and across Pickens County as well. Uh, and these storms are moving into Tuscaloosa as we speak, Tuscaloosa County. Uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye on those as well. Uh, and then, we, of course, we have these tornado warnings down here uh, for Vrindenburg, Oak Hill, and then, of course, over here into Pineapple here close to Monroe and Wilcox counties down here uh, to the south. Uh, so this is a very uh, serious situation and a lot of moving parts here across Alabama right now. Uh, we have a batch of storms up here uh, that are near Huntsville, north of Coleman. We also have a batch of storms over here towards Auburn. And then this batch of storms over here uh, stretching from the Montgomery metro area all the way down uh, to over here uh, near uh, Chatham in Alabama. Uh, so that is the situation that we have right now uh, with the tornado warning. Uh, it's going to be uh, for this area that is right here uh, north of Oak Hill, Alabama.
And I'm reading back over all of the alerts. Um, and so this tornado right here uh, is going to be coming up on Oak Hill and Pineapple, Alabama here pretty soon. So once again, I am Stephen Ray here, and uh, we actually have a uh, severe thunderstorm and a tornado uh, on the a tornado uh, that is here uh, over Oak Hill and Pineapple, Alabama. Uh, there is also a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for. Uh, the places down here north of Monroeville that includes Beatrice, Alabama as well. And this is from Monroe, Clark, and Conecuh County, Alabama. Uh, for ping pong ball sized tail and damaging wind gusts upwards of 70 miles per hour. Uh, so that is um, the issue that we have ongoing right now. So let me go back up here to the north and show you uh, the storms that are up here in the northern part of the state. Uh, Mobile continues uh, the tornado warning uh, for uh, Monroe and Wilcox County, Alabama. And give me just a second. I've got, I need to do something too, real fast. Okay, so uh, Huntsville continues the severe thunderstorm warning now uh, for the areas of Coleman and Morgan counties up there in northern Alabama until 4.30. Uh, so uh, 4.30 for Coleman and Morgan counties up there in northern Alabama. And that is going to be for this storm right here. And I do note... Uh, that there is a little bit of rotation right here uh, that has come on through Vinemont and is now pulling up here uh, towards Bailey and uh, Baileyton over here in uh, north uh, eastern Coleman County. Uh, there is quarter size tail reported in Jones Chapel area that is northwest of Coleman County. Uh, so that is in northwestern Coleman County, uh, six miles west southwest of West Point in Coleman, Alabama. A uh, quarter size tail reported in Jones Chapel area of northwestern Coleman County. And I do note that there is an area of rotation here uh, that is very close uh, to the Vinemont area right now. Uh, over here towards the Fairview area as well. Uh, getting over here towards Holly Pond, uh, Coleman, and then Baileyton as well. Also for Eva. Uh, so we're going to have to watch that as well. Uh, so that is the situation uh, that is for the Coleman area. Uh, up here for Decatur. Uh, there is a severe thunderstorm warning uh, over here towards Madison, Decatur, uh, Lawson, and then um, Triana as well.
and the warning uh, for Decatur uh, goes until 445 for 60 mile per hour winds and quarter sized hail. Uh, Jasper in Walker County reports hail to P sized. Okay, so we have hail falling in Jasper right now. All right, so that is the situation that we have on going up here across North Alabama. Uh, let's go back here to the south, and let me go on ahead and say that there are multiple severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings down here in South west and south central Alabama uh, from Vrindenburg over to Oak Hill and Pineapple, Alabama, and then eventually getting over here towards Fort Deposit and Greenville, Alabama, if this holds together. Um, I tell you, things are coming at me a mile a minute right now. Okay, so uh, there is your tornado warnings uh, in South Alabama, and there would be uh, your. Okay, severe thunderstorm warning, uh, Lawrence County in the northern part of the state. Lawrence County has been canceled. It continues one for Limestone, Madison, and Morgan counties until 445. Uh, so once again, uh, there would be your possible tornado uh, that is sitting here south of Pineapple, Alabama, and this is moving uh, towards the area of Greenville uh, over here uh, along the uh, I-65 corridor here in South Alabama. And uh, this is a, a pretty serious situation because that is one of the better couplets that I have seen uh, today. Uh, now, the good news is I do not see anything down with this. Uh, but that does not mean that something could not pop up at any time. And there is your hell core uh, that is sitting closer to Oak Hill and Pineapple, Alabama. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, continues. Uh, for 2 inch diameter hail and 60 miles per hour for a few more minutes for Lee County until 445. And that is 445 Central Time, not Eastern Time. Uh, so this is a uh, significant situation here.
All right, guys, it is currently 4.37 here on uh, Saturday afternoon, and uh, I'm sorry uh, that I had to break away just for a second, but uh, I've actually uh, got a little bit of help uh, to help me uh, go over all of this severe weather uh, because we are going to go back and forth and back and forth. I'm about to pull up for you uh, Drew Robinson. Uh, so it's going to be me and him uh, doing the severe weather coverage uh, for today. Uh, so Drew, are you there? Oh, all right, hold on one second. All right, so one more time. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, coming in here uh, towards Greenville, Alabama now. Uh, so that is the situation that we have ongoing right now. And... Um, Uh, so we have a uh, tornado warning now for Greenville, Alabama. This is south of Fort Deposit uh, for that area of rotation near Greenville, Alabama. And uh, this area needs to be watched for a potential tornado. Uh, so if you were watching me right now uh, here towards uh, Fort Deposit, Greenville, Alabama, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place right now. Uh, there are also other storms. Uh, of concern uh, that are up here, uh, that are up here towards Smoke Rise and Warrior, Alabama, and then another area over here uh, towards the areas of uh, Parish and Summerton. Uh, for the potential of extremely large hail uh, for Blunt and Jefferson counties. Uh, for 60 mile per hour winds and quarter sized hail. Uh, and then the one over here uh, for Walker and Jefferson counties is for half dollar sized hail and damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour. Uh, so that is the situation that's ongoing right now. We also have other storms that are ongoing. So we have a severe thunderstorm, a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings up here uh, across Alabama as well. And uh, it is um, a lot of issues. And I also need to mention that down there in Chambers County, Alabama, uh, near the valley area, uh, that storm is capable of producing right now uh, 2.50 inches in diameter hail. Uh, so this is down here uh, north of Auburn near Lyn Lynette and Valley, Alabama. Uh, so that, that storm uh, is uh, capable of producing... Uh, tennis ball sized tail and damaging winds upwards of 60 uh, miles per hour uh, that is about to move over into LaGrange, Georgia. Uh, so we have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning now uh, for the Huntsville metro area uh, for the potential now of a severe storm coming up here uh, into the Huntsville, Alabama area. Drew, you there? All 
Okay, so apparently we're having some technical issues, unfortunately, with Drew uh, trying to get him on here. Uh, but one more time, there is a brand new severe thunderstorm warning for downtown Huntsville. Uh, and this does include uh, 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size tail. And remember uh, that Huntsville has uh, the uh, festival that is going on in downtown Huntsville. Uh, so there is a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, for Hi. Drew, are you there, man? Finally, finally, finally. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. So we currently have Drew Robinson uh, with us. And uh, Drew, thank you so much for joining me here. And overall, we have a lot of severe weather uh, that is ongoing across the majority of the state of Alabama. Yes, yes. And uh, what are you seeing right now with all of these storms? Uh, I definitely still see that storm in the Greenville. Um, it looks like it's going to be going on until about 515. Um I yeah, still haven't and, seen anything confirmed or nothing, but yes, uh, and that's actually a tornado warning uh, that is down here uh, from the National Weather Service in Mobile, and uh, that's a pretty nasty little couplet there uh, sitting over here uh, towards the Greenville area, and then there's another one down here south of Pineapple. Yes, yes, uh, that's the one down there. I think it's Monroeville. Yeah. Yes, yeah, south of Fort Deposit uh, over here uh, towards Vrindenburg. Uh, and then also we have other severe thunderstorms over here towards Wetumpka and then uh, northern Jefferson County and then downtown Huntsville. Uh, so there are a lot of storms uh, that are ongoing right now. Uh, and let me see. Uh, severe thunderstorm uh, capable of producing 60 mile per hour winds and hail in one inch in diameter is uh, issued for Jackson, Limestone, and Madison Counties, Alabama, until 5.30. Uh, and I do believe that one is the one that is uh, for the Huntsville Metro. Uh, so the Huntsville Metro uh, goes until 5.30 uh, this afternoon. Uh, now the ones up here in northern uh, Jefferson County, those look pretty bad as well. Yeah, I'm seeing that as well. So, uh, what uh, what radar are you using? So, I have, um, I, I'm actually running about three right now. So, I'm using a WSV3, GR2 Analyst, and Radar Omega. Okay. Are you seeing any storms north of, uh, I, north of 2059 that are showing signs of rotation? Hmm. Let me pull that up real quick. Let me pull okay. it up. Okay. All right, because there are a lot of storms. Uh, there's one over here towards Dora, Summerton. Uh, there's another one up here towards Smoke Rise and Warrior. And then, of course, this one over here uh, that's going to impact uh, like Gunnersville uh, and Arab, Baileyton, Albertville. And then, of course, this one up here uh, towards Madison and Huntsville in the northern part of the state of Alabama. Now, I do believe that the ones across the northern portions are going to be large hail producers, uh, but you can't rule out an isolated, small tornado threat up there. Uh, but I do believe uh, that the biggest tornado threat is going to be further off to the south across south Alabama. Yeah, I agree. I do see some rotation in the one near Warrior. Uh, okay. It's kind of broad. It's, it's upper level right now. So Yep. So it's going to be that one in between Smoke Rise and Warrior uh, coming towards uh, the Locust Fork area later on. So uh, that's the situation that we have across North Alabama. Uh, we also have some other showers and storms that are about to move through the Tuscaloosa metro area. And I would almost guarantee... Uh, that that would probably be the last of the severe weather uh, for northwest Alabama uh, if we get those storms on through here because everything else is looking pretty uh, small uh, back over here uh, towards the northwestern Mississippi area. Now, I also noticed off of Birmingham uh, that there was an area of rotation right here on the Birmingham-Jefferson, I mean the uh, Tuscaloosa-Jefferson County line. Are you seeing that? Uh, yeah, I'm seeing it a little bit, yeah. 
Yeah, that one's a little Just bit uh, right broad. on twenty two. Yes, yeah, uh, that one's a little bit broad, but we definitely have to watch that one as well. And then that area, uh, just north of West Jefferson as well, uh, which is over here in uh, Jefferson and uh, Walker County, the, on the line there. Yeah, All right, yeah. But let's go ahead and go back down here to the actual tornado warning that we have now uh, coming in here. Uh, towards Greenville, Alabama, and that one is looking uh, pretty significant right now because that one is actually a tornado warning, and it is actually ramped up a little bit. Uh, coming over here, if you're driving right now, uh, everybody needs to be pulled off on I-65 uh, from Fort Deposit all the way down to Georgiana, Alabama on, on 65 uh, because there is an apparent tornado about to come uh, towards the area of Greenville, Alabama. And I'm checking with... Um, okay, now, a couple of hours ago, uh, this was as of 336. Baseball-sized tail was reported uh, just south of Thomasville, Alabama, uh, with pictures provided via the Emergency Management uh, Agency. Uh, so that is over there in uh, Thomasville. Uh, so that's big time hail. So that is definitely what uh, these storms are capable of producing. I also need to mention uh, that just issued is another severe thunderstorm warning for Butler, Covington, and Crenshaw counties uh, right now uh, down there from the National Weather Service in Mobile. Okay, so, uh, also... Uh, Birmingham has updated the severe thunderstorm watch until 9 p.m. Uh, they have canceled Dallas and Marengo out of the severe thunderstorm watch area. Uh, so one more time, uh, we've got a lot of stuff ongoing. We have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings and one tornado warning uh, that is down here uh, closer to uh, Greenville, Alabama, and then multiple severe thunderstorm warnings across the entire area uh, here in Alabama. And Huntsville uh, has issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, that includes Scottsboro, New Hope, and Owens Crossroads up there in northern Alabama. And I will take you up there and show you that warning here in just a second. Uh, and that one is going to be for Jackson Madison, and Marshall counties in Alabama. Uh, but what is your radar showing uh, for the one uh, that is down here towards Greenville, Alabama, before we move up further north? Uh, yeah, it's showing rotation. Uh, it's just north. Let me see what road was that. I think it was 10. Okay. Yeah, just north of 10. All right. Right so around that, uh, Red, Rock, Red Dock Springs. Yes, uh, so that's going to be a little bit north of Greenville and south of Fort Deposit. Uh, so that's the only active tornado warning that we have right now. However, we have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings uh, for large hail up here uh, from a point stretching down uh, from the Huntsville metro area uh, that is stretching back also up here uh, into uh, northern uh Jefferson County as well, and look at this storm uh, that is between Arab and Gunnersville, and that one is actually looking like a classic supercell and trying to hook around. What are you seeing on that one? Yeah, I'm seeing that. Um, I'm actually seeing some rotation down south. Um, okay. Covington, and one of the severe warm storms. Okay, and so that one is going McKenzie. to be... McKenzie. It should be on yours. Right there where it says Brantley and Laverne. Gotcha. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so um, there is a lot of rotation uh, down there in this area, and I do believe uh, that if we're going to have a tornado outbreak, it is going to be uh, down here towards this portion of Alabama. Uh, also, uh, the Storm Prediction Center... Uh, has just placed a good portion of northeast Alabama underneath a severe thunderstorm watch until uh, 10 p.m. tonight uh, for scattered hail up to lime size 
uh, scattered wind gusts upwards of 70 miles per hour and frequent lightning. And this does include Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Huntsville, Gadsden, and Anniston. All right, so uh, real quick, I am going to uh, pull that up for you guys. Uh, if you don't mind, Drew, go ahead and real quick uh, talk about what you are seeing with the storms right now. So right now, uh, I'm just watching the storm uh, around Greenville. It doesn't look like it's too tight of a couplet. So it looks like it's kind of just broad right now. So hopefully it'll stay like that and it'll eventually go away. It's set to expire in roughly 15, 20 minutes. Yes. All so. right. So let me uh, pull this up full screen. Uh, thank you for taking over there just for a second. There is your brand new uh, severe thunderstorm watch until 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Uh, and this does include the Huntsville Metro, Albertville, Gadsden, Anniston, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, uh, then over here to the Atlanta area and LaGrange, Georgia. Uh, and this includes uh, places uh, like Talladega, Auburn, uh, and places like that as well for scattered lime, uh, scattered hail up to lime size and damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour possible with any storm uh, that does develop within this watch area. And remember, there is a small thread of a isolated tornado uh, within this area as well. Uh, so that is the situation that we have ongoing right now. Uh, so let me go back over here and uh, turn on the radar for you once again, and we will show you uh, that there are storms across a good portion of Alabama, and uh, there is a tornado warning still here uh, for Greenville, uh, and then another storm uh, that has areas of rotation on it uh, right now uh, that is coming into uh, the uh, Luverne and Brantley areas as well. All right, so uh, there. All right, so here is uh, the counties in the watch uh, from the Birmingham uh, National Weather Service area: Bibb, Blunt, Calhoun, Chambers, Cherokee, uh, Chilton, Clay, Cleburne, Coosa, Etowah, Jefferson, Randolph, Shelby, St. Clair, Talladega, Tallapoosa, and Tuscaloosa until 9 p.m. Central, 10 Eastern. Uh, for the severe thunderstorm watch uh, for that area as well. Uh, Mobile has issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Butler, Conecuh, and Monroe counties in Alabama. Uh, uh, Huntsville has extended uh, the severe thunderstorm warning for Jackson, uh, Madison, and Marshall counties and has now included De DeKalb County as well. Uh, so there is a lot of information that is pouring in. And so thank you, uh, Drew, uh, for joining me here on this uh, severe weather uh, outbreak that we are having right now. Uh, and so there are a lot of storms uh, that are ongoing across the state of Alabama. And uh, I do note uh, that this storm right here uh, near uh, Smoke Rise and Locust Fork looks like it is trying to become a supercell as well. Uh, what are you seeing on your end? Yeah, I'd say right now, um, the Greenville storm, um, yes. the, the storms that are actually running into that area to the south actually seem to have a little bit more rotation than the ones that's actually warned right now. So it could just yes. be continuing because it looks like two, two cells well, actually three cells in that one area around Greenville. Yes. And so uh, I'm trying to find uh, the best radar to give you a uh, presentation of where the rotations are. And it's using uh, Fort Rucker, I believe. Okay. Okay, Mobile has canceled the severe thunderstorm warning for Washington County, uh, and it has canceled the tornado warning for Butler County uh, because it has moved out of that area. Uh, Butler and Crenshaw is still underneath a severe thunderstorm warning until 545. 
uh, and the tag on it says tornado as possible. All right, so uh, another severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Lee, Macon, and Tallapoosa counties over there towards the Auburn area. So real quick. Yeah, that's uh, coming towards me right there. Yep. So let's take a look over here at the Auburn area. And actually, there is a little bit of wind right here uh, that is coming just south of Electric and over here towards Tah Tallahassee. I think that's how you pronounce that. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, golf ball size tail and damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour. Uh, and let me check on the new warning uh, for Lee, Macon, and Tallapoosa counties. Uh, golf ball size tail and damaging winds in excess of 60 uh, miles per hour. Uh, this warning does include Auburn, Tuskegee, and Auburn University as well. Uh, and this also includes I-85 rest area. Uh, so this is just on the uh, outskirts of Auburn. Uh, it does include Auburn. It comes right into the downtown area and cuts off. Uh, so there is a severe thunderstorm warning again uh, for the Auburn area. Now, Drew, I want to ask you, uh, with the storm uh, that is over LaGrange, Georgia right now, did you have any kind of issues because that storm went through Auburn as well? No, that storm, it passed just to the north of me. It did have some a lot of hail cores in it. Okay. Well, it had one large hail core, and it was right around two inches, I believe, yes. but it was about two inches. Uh, I'd say about 20 miles north of me. Okay, so 20 miles. Okay, I got you. Okay, so I was just curious about that because there are hell reports uh, off of my radar here uh, close to the Auburn area, so I was curious about that. Okay, yeah, so yeah. we're going to have to watch that storm uh, east of Wetomka and west of Auburn uh, because that is in a prime location for uh, areas of rotation as well. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to have to watch this down here uh, towards Greenville. And actually, uh, the, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire. Is that correct from Mobile? Uh, because I am not seeing any uh, I'm not seeing any uh, red on the radar. No, it looks like it, it, they let it expire. Okay, good. Okay, all right. So all we have now is severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, for a good portion of Alabama, uh, but a couple of those do have tornado possible tags on them. Uh, so we are going to, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, go on ahead and show you all of those uh, that do have the tornado uh, warning or tornado possible tags on them. And we will start with this one down here in Clark County off to uh, the east of Jackson and off to the northwest of Frisco City. And uh, what are you seeing on this one on your end, Drew? And this uh, I'm one trying is, to pull it up now. Okay. This one is capable of producing ping pong ball sized tail and damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour. And this one is for east central Clark County. Uh, and real quick, I need to mention uh, that that warning goes out at uh, 515. Uh, so we got another 15 minutes on that warning right there for East Central Clark County. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some rotation in that one as well. Just by all those storms up there around Greenville and yes. Clark County, Monroe, uh, Butler and Crenshaw, just about yes. all of those have some form of rotation. And it's so weird uh, that the National Weather Service, um, so, uh, you know, that um, is so interesting that the Weather Service has uh, canceled the tornado warnings and have just gone severe thunderstorm warnings uh, with the tags on them like that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay, so uh, there's a new severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Monroe County, Alabama. Uh, so that is for uh, the storm that is a little further to the north there uh, for winds of 60 miles per hour and uh, quarter si uh, hail up to 1.25 inches in diameter. So that would be uh, golf ball sized. Also, Huntsville has issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Marshall County 
uh, for damaging uh, winds upwards of 60, and then, of course, hail up to one and a half inches in diameter across the northern part of the state. Okay, all right, so uh, at 4.55, which was about six minutes ago, uh, this is in Madison, uh, Alabama, uh, which is there outside of Huntsville. Uh, the uh, Republic reported hail to golf ball sized uh, that was in between 1.5 and 1.75 inches in diameter uh, near the intersection of Hughes and Gillsby. Uh, road as well as North uh, Leather Tree Lane. Uh, so we have very large hail uh, that is falling across the northern portions of Alabama, and we have a couple of storms with rotation across the southern portions of the state of Alabama. Uh, so real quick, why, uh, real quick, while you're here, are you seeing any signs of rotation with any of these storms? Um, now, Drew, I, I do want to call your attention uh, to this storm uh, that is south of Locust Fork. I was just about to call that one out. Yep. Yeah, that one, I'm so surprised that the Weather Service in Birmingham has not issued a uh, tornado warning on that. Mm. If, if I put it on BMX, it doesn't look near as bad. So maybe it's just a bad scan coming out of okay. Huntsville. Okay. All right. So we're going to definitely have to watch that over here towards Highland Lake and Springville, uh, Alabama as well. Uh, but all the other storms up to the north are pretty much hellers uh, coming into uh, downtown Huntsville as well. Uh, and then, of course, coming over here towards uh, Langston, Scottsboro, Owens Crossroads, uh, New Hope, and Grant, Alabama. Uh, so that is the actual situation. We have a, a couple of supercell thunderstorms across Huntsville, uh, one north of New Hope, and then one over here off to the east of Gunnersville and north of Albertville. And then we zoom out, and we've got one uh, north over here towards Gardendale, Alabama. Uh, that one is actually going to produce... Uh, quarter-sized hail and damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour. And then we have more storms uh, down here in South Alabama uh, that have the potential to produce uh, tornadoes at any moment uh, with any of these storms over here from Frisco City to Monroeville and then curving back up here to Fort Deposit, Greenville, Georgiana, Luverne, and Brantley. And then let me also check on the storm near you, uh, Drew, and see what's going on with it. What are your thoughts about the one coming over here uh, towards the Auburn Opelika area? I'm still kind of obsessed with that one down near Moroville. I don't know why. That one, I mean, it's a pretty good ways away from the, the radar, yes. so it's kind of hard to tell. It's like 57 miles. Yes. Uh, but it's definitely actually, got some rotation with that one. And actually, the one that's coming near you uh, towards the uh, Auburn area, uh, that storm is actually getting at, at right under uh, the Maxwell Air Force Base uh, radar site, so we really can't even see that right now on radar scope. Yeah, I have to pull that out of Birmingham. And how does it look on your end? Uh, it has some range folding, so I'm having to get it out of Peachtree. Yeah. And it's still right in the range folding, so it's really hard to tell as far as rotation goes. Yes. I mean, so it's, I mean, it's right there, dude. I mean, it's, it's right there in a bad spot because it's right over the radar there. Uh, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, but one more time, uh, they just updated the warning uh, for t t t Tallahass Tallahassee, I think it is, uh, for damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour and uh, wind gust upwards of 60 and half dollar sized hail. Yeah, I'm seeing some three inch hail markers down there with Monroeville. All right, so let me let me back out and go back down here uh, to the Monroeville storm. Oh, yeah, uh, it's looking kind of hooky too. That's my favorite term. It's looking hooky. Yeah. All right. So let me back out. And uh, we, wow. Okay. 
All right, so uh, if you're watching me right now, watching us right now in Monroeville, now are you seeing this off of mobile radar or what? Um, yeah, mobile. Okay. All right. So here is mobile, uh, and are you in? So wow, that does look like it's uh, interesting. And so we're we're talking about this storm northwest of Frisco City, uh, and just off to the uh, west of Monroeville. Uh, so yeah, what if, if is, you click my screen over there, everybody will be able to see it, what I'm seeing right now. All right, give me just a second. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I didn't realize that you had uh, your uh, radar up. Yeah, so I just started sharing it. So okay. All right. So uh, we'll go on your radar right now. Uh, and what I'll so do. This, is, this right here is storm relative velocity. So okay. it's a little bit different than the base velocity that you were showing. So it might be a little yes. bit easier for people to see it. Okay. Cool. And I'll just, uh, I'll let you talk uh, over it as well. Uh, and then I'll break in as needed to. Uh, since well, I figured we'd just bounce around to hit all the storms. That way we can okay. kind of show what we're seeing on uh, storm okay. relative. Okay. Uh, there's also, I notice, uh, a little bit of wind energy with that storm up there uh, near Greenville as well. Uh, because there was a, uh, a, a shear yeah. marker yeah. up there. Uh, wow, there's also something over there uh, towards uh, north of Dothan and Enterprise, too. So that's that's rather interesting. Yeah, and then you've got that one up there uh, near you up there close to Tuskegee and Auburn. Uh, and then, of course, we got that one that's coming over here uh, towards LaGrange, Georgia. Uh, and then we've also uh, got some other stuff over there in Georgia and northern Jefferson County up there towards the city of downtown Birmingham. Yeah, that there's a pretty good couple. Of, maybe it's. Yeah, that's sitting right there north of Valley. Uh, that's a pretty good one right there as well. Uh, this is in uh, mm -hmm. far East Alabama right there. But I, I tell you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting interested about that storm down there close to Auburn, especially because that's a pretty populated area down there. And it's also uh, where a university college town is, too, coming into Auburn. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's a bad area. If it, if a tornado ever went through there, like it'd yes. be it'd be catastrophic for sure. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Look, look at that one. It's still showing up. <laughs> it's yep. the same one we saw earlier. Yeah, that one that one right there is near uh the areas of uh if you zoom in, uh Springville, Alabama. And if you're not familiar with Springville, uh that is where uh Homestead Hollow uh is usually located down there in Springville, uh and Highland Lakes area, then moving over to Asheville. Uh, so if you're watching in Highland Lakes or Springville, uh, I would think about being uh, getting ready to go to my safe place just in case uh, the National Weather Service in Birmingham were to pull a tornado warning uh, up there for Blunt and Jefferson counties. And then also I see that one uh, that is a shear marker up there to the northeast of uh, Albertville. Yeah, that's just right outside the uh, range fold. So. Yes. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be an upper level. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, on both radars, it's looking pretty good. That one down there close to Springville. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's definitely upper level right there. Yes. So, uh, and look at that one up there towards high top. Uh, all right, that may be just the radar right there. Yeah, that's the radar right there. Oh, yeah. So we definitely have a couple of areas of rotation that we really have to watch up here in northern Alabama, uh, one to the north of Albertville and then one across here uh, closer to the Springville area. And there's not really much going on here around Tuscaloosa, is there? No. No, no. Mm -mm. 
And I do believe that is the final push of the last severe thunderstorms. Is that I think that's correct. I think that's the actual. Yeah, I believe there. that's going to be it. Yep. Uh, now there are more showers back in Mississippi, uh, but uh, that's the situation there. And um, yeah, the there goes storm, the front right there. Yep. So um, there, there, that storm uh, down there uh, north of Enterprise uh, looks pretty bad. Uh, that one over there north of Andalusia. Yeah. All right, let me uh, hold on. And I'm just... Um, All right, guys, so let's go on ahead and reassess the situation here. Uh, we have a uh, couple, uh, we have a multitude of severe thunderstorm warnings, a good portion of south and central and east Alabama. We have severe thunderstorm warnings all the way uh, from east of Jackson, Alabama, and uh, Frisco City all the way over to Abbeville and north of the Dothan Metro and north of Enterprise, Alabama. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, that is up here coming uh, towards the Auburn, Opelika area. There is other severe thunderstorm warnings up in the northern portions of the area uh, for uh, places like uh, just off to the uh, northeast of downtown Huntsville, stretching down to New Hope, Scottsboro, uh, Sylvan, Fort Payne, uh, Albertville, and then stretching down here into Springville, Oniana, and then another severe thunderstorm warning for uh, Pinson and Trustville in the northern uh, Birmingham metro area. Uh, so there are a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings uh, that are ongoing right now. And uh, there is also, uh, let's see. All right, so here's what we've got going on. We have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Butler and Crenshaw counties uh, down in South Alabama. Uh, we have uh, 2.75 inches in diameter hail out of that storm in the south. We have uh, a severe thunderstorm warning for Monroe County, Alabama, as well. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible uh, for Clark County, Alabama, uh, which expires in one minute. That is from the Mobile National Weather Service. Okay, for the Birmingham, uh, from the Birmingham National Weather Service, we have... Uh, a severe thunderstorm warning uh, until 545 for Lee, Macon, and Tallapoosa counties. We have one until 530 uh, for Elmore County. Uh, we have one for Blunt and St. Clair County until 530. And then, of course, we have that one up there uh, for Jefferson and St. Clair until 530. Uh, so we have a bunch of warnings, and then from Huntsville, up in the northern uh, part of Alabama, uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for DeKalb, Jackson, Marshall uh, counties as well. Uh, and there are a lot of reports of damaging uh, hail uh, being reported uh, as of uh, 513 which was uh, two minutes ago, a uh, news station got report of ping pong ball sized hail in Gunnersville, Alabama. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, uh, can you, Drew, can you believe this? Uh, this was five miles north northwest of Madison, Alabama, in Limestone County. Twitter reports two inch diameter hail which is the size of eggs in Creekwood, uh, which is near Madison, Alabama, 
in the Huntsville metro area. Oh, wow. That, that, that'll mess up your windshield for sure. Definitely. All right. So we have a uh, mobile uh, continues the severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Butler and Crenshaw counties until 545 with a tornado possible in the tag. Um, so that is all that we have going on right now. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Coffee, Alabama, uh, Coffee County, uh, which is in the far southeastern portions of Alabama. Uh, for winds upwards of 60 and hail upwards of one and a half inches in diameter. Uh, so that is the current situation uh, that we have ongoing right now. And uh, Drew is zooming in here over the um, the Monroe, Alabama area. We've also got other storms ongoing near Georgiana and over here towards Laverne and Brantley, Alabama as well. Uh, so if you're going to see a tornado, uh, it is going to be down here in this area, basically from Frisco City over to Monroeville, all the way over to Auburn, and then down to Dothan, Alabama. Drew, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I was just checking to see okay. um, that one in North Birmingham or northeast of Birmingham near Asheville. Yes. I'm, I'm still... I'm still catching up on that one. Okay. I was, I was looking at a different screen. <laughs> okay, you're fine, man. You're fine. Uh, okay, so uh, Mobile continues the severe thunderstorm warning until 530 for Butler, Conecuh, and Monroe uh, County, Alabama. Uh, for hail upwards of 1.75 inches in diameter. And if memory serves me correctly, uh, that is... Um, 1.75 inches in diameter, uh, that would be uh, golf ball sized. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Huntsville uh, has canceled the severe thunderstorm warning for Jackson and Madison counties uh, because Jackson and Madison counties, the storms have moved out of your area. Uh, so one more time, uh, the severe thunderstorm warning for Madison and Jackson counties in North Alabama has been canceled. All right, so, um, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, Birmingham, as of one minute ago, severe thunderstorm warning for Calhoun, Etowah, and St. Clair until 6. And that's for 60 mile per hour winds and 1.5 inch diameter hail. Uh, so that is what's going on right now. Uh, we have a bunch of storms over here uh, towards Oneonta, Springville, uh, Gardendale, and northern Birmingham as well. So uh, what are you seeing on your end, uh, Drew? So with, with this storm here, um, north of Springville, I'm actually seeing a pretty good, um, on Prop Severe, it's showing uh 95% prop wind, 48% prop tornado. So okay. it is getting a little bit more conductive. Okay, so you would not be surprised to see the Weather Service pull a tornado warning, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's showing rotation as well. So I just wonder why Birmingham hasn't pulled the warning, pulled a, pulled a tornado warning on that. That's so weird, man. And by the way, you're listening to Stephen Ray and uh, his um, his uh, broadcast partner, uh, Drew. And Drew, real quick, uh, yeah. tell everybody a little bit about yourself, please. So I'm Drew Robinson. I've been with Stormtroopers for probably going on a year now. So okay. um, I don't know. I just love weather. So I love watching it. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you so much for joining me and helping me out because this morning, uh, when we had this severe weather round one, it got um, it got pretty uh, it got pretty hairy because I had so much coming in and I was the only one that was uh, you know doing it. So uh, thank you for joining me for the afternoon round. I uh, love to help out. Love to help out. Uh, so, what are you seeing right now? Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, the National Weather Service in Birmingham just sent this tweet out. 
I don't know if you saw it or not, uh, but the severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Calhoun, Etowah, and St. Clair. Uh, the storm has had a history of producing large hail uh, that was located south of Highland Lakes. Uh, so that is uh, the issue there. Uh, so that, that area has had a history of producing uh, half-dollar-sized hail uh, with that storm near Highland Lakes. Here goes a history of it right here. All right. Uh, we need to also, for our friends over there uh, along the border of Mobile, uh, because the National Weather Service in uh, Mobile has just issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northern Mobile and then across George and uh, I think it was um, uh, George and Greene counties down in Mississippi. Uh, so we need to also check in on that storm nest next to Citronelle uh, because that storm could be uh, conducive of a tornado because that is in a prime location as well for tornadic storms. So what are you seeing uh, with that storm uh, that is about to push into northern Mobile County? Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely a mature storm, so it definitely yes. shows some potential. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, and uh, I do note uh, that the Weather Service, let me see, uh, now they do not have a tornado uh, a tornado possible tag on this one. However, they do say half dollar size tail is possible with this storm and it's moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. Uh, and uh, let me also see uh, if there are any other uh, storms of concern. And I will tell you, Drew, uh, that that storm uh, near Frisco City is really I mean, I'm talking about really uh, ramping up as far as uh, tornado potential. That's the one up north, up north, up here? Uh, no, um, uh, the one near uh, Monroeville and Frisco City. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one is, uh, if you're watching us right now in Frisco City, I would not be surprised to see the Weather Service uh, pull a uh, tornado warning on that one. Uh, Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Pike County, Alabama, as well. All right, so there are a lot of severe weather uh, warnings ongoing right now. Uh, so, Drew, if you would, go on ahead and take everybody through, and uh, let's just do a radar check of everything uh, that is ongoing right now, and we will start in the south and move north. Okay, so uh, from the National Weather Service in Mobile, we have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, right now four, a uh, half dollar size tail and damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour for northern Mobile County that includes the area of Citronelle. It also includes George and Green Counties in Mississippi. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for 60 mile per hour winds and uh, 1.5 inches in diameter uh, for Butler, Covington, and Crenshaw Counties. And both of those are until 6 p.m. Uh, for the Mobile National Weather Service area. Okay, let's go a little bit further to the north, to the Birmingham metro area. Uh, for the, I'm sorry, for the Birmingham, um, you know, Birmingham National Weather Service. We have a severe thunderstorm warning until 6 p.m. Uh, for Calhoun, Etowah, and St. Clair counties. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued for Pike County, Alabama, until 6.15. All right. Then we have up in Huntsville, we have a severe thunderstorm warning for DeKalb and Jackson, Alabama, and another one for DeKalb and Jackson, uh, actually, that is a watch for Jackson and DeKalb until 9 p.m. Uh, but we have a warning also for DeKalb and Jackson until 5.30. 
And uh, National Weather Service Mobile issues another severe thunderstorm warning for Conecuh and Monroe County till 630. Uh, so that is uh, the situation that we have ongoing right now in Alabama. And this is a uh, pretty active weather day that we have going on. All right. And uh, we need to real quick, uh, if you don't mind, uh, Drew, we need to zoom in uh, to the Talladega area. Uh, because, you know, the races are up there in Talladega this weekend, and we have a significant weather alert now uh, for, uh, let's see, uh, Talladega County. Uh, and so that's going to be with that line of storms uh, that is moving through Argo down to Trustville and north of Hoover. And so if you're watching us here in the Talladega area, you need to go on ahead and think about uh, being uh, close to your safe place or a sturdy shelter uh, just in case those storms do in fact uh, grow uh, into a severe warning. Yeah, I don't quite see anything for Talladega yet. It's definitely coming, though. Yes. Uh, so there's a significant weather alert uh, for north central Talladega County. Okay, so that is the current situation right here. And uh, we have um, a bunch of hail reports and a bunch of hail uh, storms out there right now uh, in Alabama and uh, across a good portion of the state of Alabama. And so uh, thank you here uh, for joining us. Let me also say uh, that basically uh, I do believe, and correct me if I'm wrong uh, over here, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Drew, if you are in Tuscaloosa, Jasper, Russellville, Florence, Columbus, Mississippi, Utah, uh, York, Livingston, I would say uh, Aliceville, Reform, or Gordo, I think your severe weather threat is pretty much over. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so basically, uh, let me just go ahead and show you. Uh, I'm going to pull up my radar here just briefly. Uh, if I'm, I'm, I'll put yours back on here in just a second. Uh, basically, if you are along and west of this line right here, uh, Tuscaloosa, downtown Birmingham, Albertville, Huntsville, uh, Jasper, Russellville, Florence, Tuscaloosa, Utah, uh, Demopolis, Philadelphia, Mississippi, Meridian, Columbus, Red Bay, Alabama. You guys, severe weather threat is completely over. You may have a couple of more showers coming through uh, the area later today, uh, but your severe weather threat is pretty much over. If you are down here towards Gadsden, Jacksonville, Anniston, Sachs, Alabaster, Calera, Clanton, uh, Brent, Centerville, Marion, Selma, Wetumpka, Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika, Alexander City, Thomasville, Jackson, Monroeville, your severe weather threat is still ongoing. And uh, what are you seeing on your end, Drew, uh, from the uh, radar that you're seeing? Uh, what storms are you most uh, uh, concerned about? So I would say definitely the ones around uh, Butler and Crenshaw. Yes. These ones, this little area yeah, here. Cells, yeah. Because it's, it's just a big cluster, and there's a, there's a bunch of supercells in here with rotation. Right. Um, and then along up here, south of Gadsden, these storms. This one right here has been consistently producing rotation as well. Right. Uh, now, somebody also said... Uh, that the storm over Asheville uh, is a massive, uh, massive storm. Uh, so let's go on ahead up there and uh, look at the one uh, that is coming into uh, Gunnersville right now. Yeah, that thing, that thing is massive, man. That thing 
it's taking on a supercellular uh, characteristic right there. Yeah. Okay, severe thunderstorm warning has expired for DeKalb and Jackson County, Alabama. Uh, so the good news is uh, I do not see any uh, warnings right now. Well, actually, I, well, I do. Uh, there is one active warning that we have right now uh, that has a tornado possible tag on them. Uh, the rest of them does not have a tornado uh, tag on them. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, can you, if, do you mind talking here just for a second, um, uh, Drew, while I pull up something? Yeah, that's fine. So what, what are you seeing right now? Right now, I'm just trying to get my bearing. Um, <laughs> You're fine. Storms and stuff going on outside. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so right now we're just looking at the storms that's in the south. Um, these have been consistent. We can show the, we can show the history of these down right. here. Wow. To just consistently producing hail back to back to back. All right. Do you mind if I share something real quick? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. That bad boy right there uh, just fell baseball-sized tail in Frisco City, Alabama in the last 10 minutes. This is from the National Weather Service down there in Mobile. That is uh, the storm uh, that is located in between uh, Frisco City and Monroeville, Alabama right now. And that one is the one uh, that is coming over here. Uh, towards the area uh, near Evergreen as well. Uh, so this is a very serious situation uh, for very large hail uh, down there in that area. Uh, so if you're watching us in Repton, if you're watching us in Monroeville or Frisco City, also getting really close to Evergreen, just know uh, that that size hail is moving towards your location right now. So I've put back on your radar, Drew. But that that was some large, extremely large hail, was it not? Yeah, indeed, indeed. So I can actually go back and see. Like that's this is roughly about where it happened. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's that's insane. All right, so if you're watching us if you're watching us right now in Evergreen, if you're watching us right now along 83, uh, you need to go on ahead and go on ahead and be ready uh, for baseball sized hail uh, coming into your location as well. Uh, and you notice uh, that one southeast of Mon or southwest of Monroe is starting to hook out and take a kidney bean shape. Uh, is there any rotation on that one? Uh, yeah, there is a little bit uh, to the southwest of Monroe, uh, Monroeville. Uh, so there are a lot of um, uh, areas of rotation down here. And also, look at that one over there near Citronelle. Uh, there's a little bit of rotation with that one over there, Drew, as well. Yeah, I agree. It's been pretty consistent with that one as well. Uh, so uh, there are a potential uh, couple of storms down there in that area uh, that have the potential... Uh, to produce uh, a couple of isolated tornadoes, especially this group around Monroeville and this one north here of Citronelle. And also there is a shear marker uh, over here north of Andalusia as well. Uh, and that one looks pretty bad, pretty wicked as well. Ooh, look at that. Look at that right there. Dude, I'm so surprised Mobile hasn't issued a tornado warning on that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let me look. Hold on. I just went back to the chat. Give me a second. Wow. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. It's a that, hook, and it's got a nice little couplet. So. Okay, so if you're watching us right now south of Monroeville, go ahead and think about being in your safe place right here and right now if you're near Frisco City, Repton, Castleberry, or Evergreen, uh, because they could very easily pop a tornado warning at any time, and that storm is coming right over Frisco City right now. Uh, so that is pretty significant right there. Uh, let me also see something real quick. Uh, no warning, uh, no issue from the National Weather Service up there in uh, Mobile, but I'm sure they watch. They're watching it uh, with intent uh, purposes oh, yeah. right now. Uh, and by the way, man, I want to say thank you again for joining me uh, this afternoon. Oh yeah, no problem. I love it. I love it. And uh, I'm also just looking at some other stuff on my end uh, with radar scope. Uh, to kind of see uh, what I can see uh, based off of my end as well while you're, you've you got the radar up. And uh, it's still looking pretty uh, pretty good on the uh, base velocity, or I'm sorry, the super res velocity out of Mobile, uh, south of Frisco City, moving over here towards uh, Repton and then eventually Castleberry and Evergreen right now. Uh, so if you're watching us down here towards Frisco City, please be in your safe place. Uh, right now uh, for the potential of uh, damaging straight line winds and the possibility of a tornado. Uh, and this warning goes for another 52 minutes. Uh, for baseball size tail and damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour, uh, public reported baseball size tail in Frisco City at 5.20 p.m. Uh, and this includes Monroeville, Evergreen, Frisco City. And let me check that. Okay. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning does include Bibb, Shelby, and Talladega. All right. So let's go back further north and check on our friends up there. Okay. Oh. Uh, there's a tornado warning over in Georgia. Oh, yeah, just outside. Okay, uh, Red Level, Alabama, uh, public reports golf ball size tail uh, with photos via social media. So that's the situation right now. So let's go back up here real quick uh, into Talladega and look at the storms uh, that are about to impact Talladega. Got a couple of little hell cores in there. Yes. Wind doesn't look too bad. At least not straight line winds. Uh, so Talladega is actually not under a warning. Uh, the actual warning itself is for the far southern storm that's coming through Alabaster right now. Yeah, this one right here. Yep. So, uh, but we do need to watch this this line of storms uh, with the one up there near Vincent uh, for our friends there at the Talladega Super Speedway. Uh, and then other storms are about to push into Jacksonville and Anniston here within the next few minutes. <clears throat> I am so surprised that Mobile is not doing a tornado warning on that one uh, down there near Frisco City. Aren't you? Yeah, it's still down there and it's still just a going too. I think it's actually hooking a little bit more. Well, now, uh, do you have the correlation coefficient? Can you see if anything is down on that storm? <clears throat> I, don't, I, I don't see anything down, do you? No, I don't see anything on it yet. Right. Uh, and uh, we have... Um, Quarter size tail reported three miles northwest of Auburn University in Lee County. Uh, so that is that storm near you. Now, where exactly are, are you located near Auburn or no? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just south of Opelika. I got about you. About where that hell icon is. <laughs> I got you. So is it hailing outside at your house? 
No, it looks like it's just south of me. Okay. I got you. Okay. Because I don't want you to have any kind of issues while we're watching other storms as well. So uh, let's go ahead and look at that storm, if you don't mind, uh, near Auburn. Because uh, I'm, I'm curious as to what it looks like. Because uh, it did have some rotation on it earlier. And that storm's starting to look a little ragged, too, right now. Yeah, yeah. I might need to check it out at Peachtree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? It's got a little bit of broad rotation yes. in the upper part. Yes. All right, so let's. Uh, I tell you what, we need to do. We need to go down there and check on that storm north of Citra, or just off to the east of Centronel, west of Centronel, Mississippi. Blah. We need to check on that storm right there uh, in northern Mobile County. I'll gotcha, get it right gotcha. here in just a second. <laughs> I apologize about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is still capable of producing uh, 60 mile per hour winds and 1.25 inches in diameter hail uh, through 6 p.m. Um, and that's just off to the south of Citronelle right now. Uh, so everything else, uh, there's that huge hail core uh, that's south of Monroeville. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you this, uh, Drew, would you not agree? If you're in Evergreen, you need to go ahead and be in your safe place or thinking about going. Yes, no doubt. Uh, because that thing is going to be uh, over Evergreen here pretty soon. And Evergreen says uh, at, uh, I believe that says 628, correct? The time? Um, yes. Okay. 628 for Evergreen. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have a update uh, from the National Weather Service in Mobile. Uh, okay. Here are the watch cancellations from the Weather Service in Mobile. If you are not in Choctaw or Wilcox County in Alabama, you are still in the watch. If you are in Choctaw or Wilcox, your severe weather threat is over. Everybody else in the, in the Mobile National Weather Service radar, uh, National Weather Service warning area, it's still underneath a severe thunderstorm watch unless you were in Choctaw or Wilcox County. So that is the new update from Mobile uh, that they've actually canceled uh, a couple of uh, the counties out of the watch, but they have continued it for a, a few more. All right, so uh, Birmingham continues to issue severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, and they have issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Calhoun, Shelby, St. Clair, and Talladega. They've also issued another one uh, for Bibb, Shelby, and Talladega. All right, so there are two active warnings right now uh, for Talladega. Uh, so let me go back up here and see exactly if... Okay, so the city of Talladega is now underneath a severe thunderstorm warning. All right, so we need to pay attention to this one, uh, Drew, yeah, yeah. because of people at the super speedway. All right, so uh, we have a severe thunderstorm over here uh, near Pell City uh, or, or Howell's Cove uh, moving towards the Talladega, Alabama area right now. Uh, and this also includes, they've just issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Cherokee County in Alabama until 6.15. Uh, so what are you seeing over there towards Talladega? Yeah, Talladega, it seems like they got that whole line of storms coming their way. So they, I definitely want to be outside. Uh, yes, and so while I am, uh, while, I'm going to let you talk here for just a second. Uh, while I, I do some things real quick, I'll be right back. I'm, I'm going I'm to uh, 
uh, talk with someone in the group real quick. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just take a look at the storms that's up north around Huntsville. Okay. Um, since we haven't got that far yet, this seems to be the newest one that was issued. So we got a thunderstorm warning issued for Cherokee County uh, for hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Expires around 615. So we would definitely have to watch that one uh, to see. Small little hell core in that one. Okay. And uh, what else are you seeing out there uh, towards the Monroeville storm down south? That thing sure isn't moving much at all. <laughs> it's moving very slow. Cut off the lightning. Yeah, it's still got that same rotation, too. It is crazy. I think that rotation has to do with the hell core. It's just got a lot of uplift in it. Yes. Okay, so if you're watching us right now in Blunt, Jefferson, and Tuscaloosa, your severe weather threat has officially come to an end as Birmingham has canceled the severe thunderstorm watch for Blunt, Jefferson, and Tuscaloosa counties. All right, so that is uh, good news. Everybody else in Alabama is pretty much under a severe thunderstorm watch except for Blunt, Jefferson, Tuscaloosa, Choctaw, and Wilcox counties. And if you're watching us right now in the city of Talladega or at the Talladega Super Speedway, uh, you guys need to really uh, please be in your safe place or a sturdy shelter. Uh, and this will be coming across uh, Talladega at 6.06 p.m. So what else are you seeing right now? Um, I mean, I, I see that things are start, starting to calm down. Just, just a hair. It doesn't seem near as bad as what it was before. Right. At least the tano, tornado warnings are kind of to the east of us and to the north. So. Yes. And I'm reposting this in the group as we speak um, because we need to really hit uh, the area there in Talladega. So it looks like this one in Fort Payne just looking at the history of it, it looks like it might be ramping up right now. Yes. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like a cycle down. Now it's going back up. So once again, if you're watching us, uh, we are watching uh, a multitude of severe storms uh, that are coming across a good portion of Alabama. Uh, now, if you are in West Alabama, if you are over here uh, west of Birmingham, your severe weather threat is over. If you are east of Birmingham or south of Birmingham, uh, your severe weather threat is still ongoing right now. And uh, you're listening to Stephen Ray and, of course, Drew Robinson uh, do severe weather coverage here on social media and especially the Alabama Storm Troopers uh, uh, Facebook group as well. Uh, so if you're watching us down here towards Lincoln, Howells, uh, Cove, Talladega, Vincent, uh, you guys are underneath a severe thunderstorm warning. And also... Uh, let's take a look real quick, Drew, at that storm 
uh, that is uh, just a little bit off to, I think it's the storm uh, west of Jacksonville, uh, because that one actually has a little bit of a couplet and a hook in there as well. Where, where's that one at? Uh, it is uh, over there, uh, just off to the west of Jacksonville, Alabama. Uh, and that's going to be that one northeast, uh, northwest of Aniston. That supercell right up there. Uh, Jack, got you, got you. Off, near uh, near eight near. I think that says sixty two. Yeah, yep, that's yep. sixty two. Yeah, that looks like it is trying to start rotating near Ohatchee. So we're going to have to watch that one coming over here towards Weaver and Jacksonville right now. And what, what is that right there? So this right here is wind shear. Okay. And th this right here shows gate to gate shear. Okay. So there's a pretty good amount in that storm, no doubt. Oh, and yeah. you, see, yeah. you see right there that you're getting a little bit of an inflow notch and a little bit of yeah. a hook echo. Uh, so I would, I would go ahead and be uh, thinking about going to my safe place right now if I'm in Jacksonville or Weaver, Alabama, uh, because that could be really ramping up here pretty soon. Uh, for a tornado warning. Yeah, it's like we just got to get it to close in, and then that'll yes. be it. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, continues for Crenshaw and Covington counties in South Alabama, but they've up the, the uh, they've up that warning to seventy mile per hour winds down south. So definitely, if you're watching us over here towards Alexandria, Jacksonville, or Weaver, Alabama, please be in your safe place or thinking about going to your safe place uh, because there is definitely a severe storm uh, with rotation coming towards your area right now. Oh, yeah. That Monroeville, that one still looks nasty. All right. Also, check out the one... Um, Okay, severe thunderstorm warning has been issued now uh, for Calhoun, Cherokee, Cleburne, and Etowah counties. But real quick, uh, check out that storm uh, that is north of Fort Payne and over there towards Valley Head. Uh, that one looks like it is starting to rotate as well. Yeah, that's the one that's probably showing the most potential right now yes that'll be this one here yes uh oh yeah and then, then there was a, there's that one to the south uh that's got the severe thunderstorm warning on it there's another one there that looks like it's trying to rotate too yeah i think this is that same one we was watching before that passed yes. through warrior Yes. Uh, so definitely there are a few. And look, dude, look at that one over there near Alpharetta. Wow. George yeah, in Georgia. Yeah. Gee. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that one's out of our viewing area, but that one, that one right there looks pretty nasty. Yeah. It's got a little bit on it, doesn't it? Yep, yep. So uh, let's go back over here and check on our storms and uh, leave it on that view right there. Uh, we have a, tw well, I'm sorry, man. All right, so what we got going on is we have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings across southeast Alabama. We have another one across so the south central Alabama areas uh, over here towards Monroeville, uh, Frisco City, uh, Enterprise, uh, Evergreen, and north of Andalusia. We also have that one cell north of Mobile. And then more storms off to the north over here uh, towards uh, the uh, Jacksonville, Alabama area as well in the far northern portions of the area. Uh, so that's pretty much all that we've got going on right now. And uh, what are you seeing uh, on your uh, at your end right now? Pretty much the same thing. Uh, Prop Severe is still showing this one right here. Um, 
in Fort Payne yes. uh, as being the most probable right now. Uh, so if you're watching us, though, in the Talladega Super Speedway, uh, just know that there is a line of storms, uh, severe storms that are coming towards you right now. And uh, let's go on ahead and show uh, what the rotation and the velocity looks like coming towards the Talladega area because uh, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some nasty winds coming in with that system. Oh, yeah. So this right here is storm relative velocity. So this right here would be your your base velocity. So it's like maybe 50 mile per hour winds associated yes. with that line of storms. So uh, 50 to 60, definitely. And then look at that shear marker over there just off to the uh, west of the Georgia line. Yep, that one right, right here there. Next yep, that one right there. Yeah, looks like a range folding. Okay. Okay, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a brand new uh, mesoscale discussion. Uh, Mobile has issued another severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Covington and Crenshaw counties in Alabama right now. So I do believe, Drew, uh, that the tornado threat uh, is uh, pretty much uh, dropping off. I think we're now moving into a large hail and damaging straight line wind event. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. Seems like the the hail is tapering off just a little bit. Um, very few storms are causing issues right now. So, so we may be transitioning just into a damaging straight line wind event across the entire area with a few isolated tornadoes as well. Yeah, we're always going to have that little bit of threat. Uh, and so, once again, if you're watching us down here in Talladega and Oxford, Alabama. Uh, you need to go on ahead and think about being uh, in a sturdy shelter because these storms are moving through, uh, about to move through Talladega here pretty soon. A little bit of hell associated with them as well. Right. Yeah, let's go Let's go down here into the city of Talladega and actually uh, see if we can actually see where uh, the Talladega Super Speedway is. Uh, does your say where the Talladega Super Speedway is? Um, not this one, I don't think. So there is extremely large hail uh, coming into uh, the northern portions there of the Talladega area. Do you have another radar that would show where the Talladega Super Speedway is, Drew? I'm not sure exactly where it is myself in, inside Talladega. Okay. All right. Let me see if radar scope actually, if I can zoom down in it on radar scope and then pull up and see. I have nope. radar Omega in here now. So let me. Hmm. I think it's going to be north, northward towards Talladega, and it's going to be right next to, because uh, you can see it off of the interstate. I just, I just want to get right over that area, uh, just to make sure. Here it is, right here. Okay, so if you're watching us right now on the Talladega Super Speedway, uh, there is a hell core over you right now. Uh, so please make be sure uh, that you are in uh, a sturdy shelter right now. Now, do you have the capabilities to see how big that hail would be on that radar? Let's see. I should be able to pull it out and then go back into this one. Okay. So it should be right around in here. Okay. Hmm. So hail is definitely falling along the Talladega Super Speedway. Okay, that's, I mean, that's, 
that's not bad, but that's that's still decent sized tail. Yeah, it's not it's not terrible, but I wouldn't want to get hit with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, we have a uh, updated report of uh, in Calhoun County uh, near Piedmont. Uh, the public reports held to nickel sized. Uh, so I pretty much feel like that the tornado risk is dropping off. And I want to thank everybody uh, that is watching here uh, here on uh, the social media platforms. Uh, you are listening to Stephen Ray and Drew Robinson uh, cover severe weather. And uh, this is round number two of uh, severe storms that we've had to deal with uh, today. And then, of course, uh, the earlier this morning as well. Uh, basically, if you are off to the uh, northwest of the Tuscaloosa area and northwest of a line, uh, basically, uh, from uh, basically the 2059 corridor, your severe weather threat is over. However, if you are in far southern Alabama, your severe weather threat is still ongoing for a few more hours. And uh, let's go on ahead and look at some of those storms now uh, that are coming into Andalusia, please. Uh, because I saw a couple of areas of rotation uh, near Andalusia right now. Uh, and especially yeah, that one. It's, it's those same two storms. They just keep rotating and rotating. Yes. And that, that's definitely a nice couplet right there, though. Yes. And uh, for some reason, the National Weather Service in Mobile is not pulling a tornado warning on that. Now, how does it look for Mobile, though? That was the one we just saw. So I okay. think it's because they're not. Because this area looks real bad, especially right. that one. Yes. It just doesn't look that bad from this one, though. Right. I think that's the reason why they haven't issued it. Yes. Uh, also, there is a storm across northern Mobile and northern uh, Baldwin counties uh, that does include uh, the area right there of Baymanet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one's progressing pretty nicely. Uh, it, now, that one out there doesn't seem to be slacking. It seems to actually be building a little bit. Right. Uh, so, uh, tornado warning continues uh, over in Georgia uh, for uh, the areas over there in South Georgia. Mobile has just said... Um, All right, man. So, uh, what all are you seeing on your end? Uh, we currently have that tornado warning that's over there off to the right of the screen uh, over Georgia. Uh, and then, of course, we have other severe storms as well that are capable of producing a few tornadoes with rotation uh, here over uh, just north of Andalusia and off to the east of Monroeville. And, yeah, so looking uh, at looking at the hail from my end, it looks like um, the Fort Payne storm, since that one's pushed off into Georgia, so that's yes. a good. Um, there's a tornado warning up around Tennessee, actually, again. Um, okay. But for the most part, you know, our storm seems to be actually ramping down, so that's good. Uh, now, I will tell you uh, that there is a little bit of rotation up here towards Anniston and Oxford. Uh, and that one is coming off of the Birmingham radar. Let me switch over here uh, to the high top radar and see what it looks like. And yeah, there is still a little bit there. Uh, so Jacksonville over to Piedmont and Alexandria. And then another one over here uh, towards Bynum. Bynum. This one right here is pretty close to Talladega. Yeah. Uh, so that's... Mm, that's not good for our friends up there. So I do believe our our storms are. Uh, I, I would say that they are uh, downgrading and just becoming severe thunderstorm warnings uh, with damaging straight line winds. Would you not agree? 
Yes, that's correct. I'd say our, our highest threat right now is probably the straight line wins. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I think if that's the case, I think we will uh, take a break here uh, and continue to watch these uh, off uh, the air. Uh, but if anything ha actually happens uh, to come back, uh, we will be right back here on social media. Uh, Drew, stay right there. I would like you know to stay on. Uh, but for the rest of us, we are going to sign off on the severe weather. Uh, we th we thank you uh, for watching us, and as always, we'll be right back here with any other warnings that happen to pop up. And as always, God bless.